Yeah, so great question. So um, traditionally, years and years that 401ks were around, pre-tax was the way that we do this, and that's still available today. Um, about five years ago, they started Roth 401k, which you have available here. Okay, the difference is, is let, me, let me make sure everybody explains the difference. So pre-tax means before Uncle Sam gets in there and grabs his, my 6% or 4% is going into my plan. Okay, and that's very attractive for a lot of us. But let's say I say, hey, I, I don't have a crystal ball, but I don't see taxes going down anytime in the future. And I know my tax situation today, I would rather do Roth or after tax money. That way, when I go to retire, this money's already been taxed, I get it scot-free, okay? So traditionally, you don't pay taxes going in, but at the end of the road, when we, we, when we retire, that's when Uncle Sam gets his. Roth is, I'll pay the taxes today, and then when I retire, that's all mine. Okay, so yes, you can do it. And, and we don't have to do anything separate to sign up. I could, we can just go there right then, say this much percent, and it will automatically start going to a Roth. Yeah, so if, if, you, if you already picked that before you came over to Transamerica, it came over as Roth, right? If this is new, or maybe you didn't know that you had that, you would just sign up for Roth contributions right here. Okay. Uh, a couple questions that come up. Um, can I split it? Yep. So if you're doing 6% and you want to do 3 and 3, you can do that. Okay. It doesn't change the amount that you could put in. The limits are still the same, but you can split it. So if you're thinking, well, is it right for me? Just a couple things to think about. Um, I can't tell you how long Roth will be around. Right? There's talk of them taking it away. So you might want to get it while you can. Two, think about it this way. If you've never done Roth before and what I'm telling you is new to you, think about it this way. You already have a bucket of pre-tax money that you've been saving for, for your whole working career. Maybe it's time to start a Roth bucket. You can't convert the two, so you'll have two buckets of money. One bucket is, hasn't been taxed yet. One bucket has. So when you go to retire, which bucket you think you're going to go to first? All right, guys. Okay, so yeah, great question. Roth is. And you can withdraw ten thousand a year from. I mean, without waiting until you're sixty. So so this is Roth four hundred one k. This is not okay. Roth IRA. So okay. the rules are still the same. Okay. You still can't touch this to retirement without penalty. Okay. Um, but it's just but the after tax portion of it is is in the four hundred one k. I got you. Yep. Other questions about this. Again, you have Jeff's card. If this kind of piqued your interest and you want to talk further, he can certainly talk to you about that. Okay, But please remember that easy button. This is a great way for you to say, hey, I'm never going to think about this when I walk out of here again. Let me just click that button and I'll increase 1% a year. Okay, let's talk about <clears throat> investment options for a second. So this is what's called open architecture. So there's not a fund out there that Jeff couldn't put in the mix. Now, we don't want to have hundreds of funds in there. But what he did is he, he scoured the universe of funds and he picked a nice list for you. So for those of you who like to do, the, do it yourself, when you go on there and look at your list of funds, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. For those of you who were not interested in anything I just said, I want to show you something called Portfolio Express. As soon as that's... So if you are not a do-it-yourselfer, if you say, Josh, that's great that Jeff picked some good funds for me, but just do it for me, uh, we will do that. Let me get back in. Okay, guys, any, any questions that y'all have about the funds, about you know the Portfolio Express and all that kind of stuff? Don't feel like you have to get it all figured out right here in this meeting. Uh, put a bunch of cards out. Y'all call me anytime with questions about your contributions, the investments, uh, just anything in general. Uh, this is this is just a, a demo, and uh, you know usually when it comes to each individual four hundred one k, that's something that we handle one on one. Um, you know, it, it, as long as the participant wants to, oh, I'm sure it's really available. <laughs>
allow you to pick your exact retirement year. So in this scenario, I'm going to retire in 2035. We also let you tell us if you're conservative, aggressive, or somewhere in the middle. Okay. So in this scenario, I would say I'm, I'm going to retire in 2035, which obviously is a long time away. And I'm also aggressive by nature. If you don't know what you are, click here, answer five questions, and we'll tell you what you are. So in this scenario, I have a long time to retirement, and I'm telling the system I'm aggressive by nature. Then I hit next. What it's doing is two things. It's looking at the funds that Jeff loaded into the system. It's giving me a glide path. Notice my glide path doesn't stop at retirement because hopefully I don't. And it continues over my <laughs> lifespan. And then what it's doing is it's picked funds for me Notice in today's mix, because 2035 is a long time away, this is a very aggressive portfolio today, but it shows you at retirement or as I get closer to my glide path or my goal, it gets more conservative over time. So as I get older and retirement gets closer, it's automatically making itself more conservative over time. Okay, Guys, this is set it and forget it. If you notice, I've done two things to automate you. We hit that easy button, so my contributions are going up as I every year. And then this is an aggressive portfolio because that's how I told it to do it. And then as I get to retirement, it's making me more conservative over time. Okay? That's it. That's all you do. There's one more button. You hit next. You agree to the terms. And I'm done. Okay? So this is a really great way for those of you who do not want to pick your own funds to have us make a custom portfolio for you based on your age and how aggressive or conservative you are. The great thing is just going to be looking at the funds in your lineup every quarter. So if he says, hey, this fund that I picked, it's manager left and performance is really going down, I'm going to fire it and plug somebody else in. Well, guess what? If that was one of your funds, it gets pulled and the new fund gets put right in. You don't have to do a thing. If you want to start off like this and then pretty soon you pick up Jeff's card, you run over to his office and he's going to you know, help you make your own portfolio, you can get in and out of this anytime you want. Okay? This is a great place for you to start if you're interested in that. Questions on that? Okay. A couple more things I want to show you. Um, we talked about going paperless. If you hit that button right there, um, we'll, we'll, we'll stop paper and you'll get everything over email. Um, as Jeff mentioned, we're throwing a lot at you. When you get on the site, if you need help, just hit contact us by phone or by email. We do the Southwest Airlines method. We'll call you back so you don't have to sit on hold. You just click that button, put in your cell phone. It'll say, hey, we will call you in six minutes or whatever the wait time is. Okay, so if you ever kind of get stuck there, just do that. <clears throat> A couple more things. Back to our dollar amounts. If you go to resources and retire track, and again, Jeff knows where all this is, but going back to how much should I be doing or hey, take a look at how much I currently have and tell me where that's going to project. That's something called retire track. All you got to do is hit this. When you hit this button, we already know how old you are. We know how much money you have in your account. We know how much you're putting in. What we're going to show you I hope, is where you are on track to be if you never changed anything. So we use simple weather icons. There's four of them. Sunny, partly sunny, partly cloudy, and hurt, oh, raining. So when you come up here, we're going to say, hey, your outlook is sunny. You are on track to have X amount of dollars. You don't need to change a thing. Okay? So that would be great if we're all sunny. However, if it says raining or partly cloudy, 
don't get nervous. This is just us projecting out where you're going to be and hey, you probably need to make some changes. And we will tell you what those changes are. So if you're doing 3% and it's raining, we're going to show you what it takes to get to sunny. So it may say, hey, you're only doing three, you need to be doing 20%. Don't get nervous. We don't expect you to change the 20% tomorrow. But we do want to tell you what you ultimately need to get to in the next few years to change your outlook. This is only looking at your 401k because right now that's the only thing I know about you. If you want to include other things in here, you can do that. So if I hit alternate strategies, this is going to allow me to put in what I have at the bank. Maybe my wife works and she has a 401k and I want to add it to this. Uh, let's say we have an IRA or a Roth on the side. You can put all of your savings into this because remember all I know right now is your 401k and what it will do is it will incorporate that into your outlook and show you if you're any better. You can also change things like um, income summary. Maybe I have a rental property that, that gives me $300 a month. I can put that in here. So you can make this as quick and easy or as comprehensive as you want. And guys, this is a, this is a financial plan. It'll show you exactly where you are on track to be with all of the dollars in here. Nobody can see this. Aon can't see this. Jeff can't see this. This is between you and our record keeping system. So this is completely private. But please take a minute to at least look at the 401k and see what you may need to do to make some increases. And then if you have time, this is a 20 minute exercise. If you put all of your savings in here, this is a really great way to say, hey, this is where you're really on track to do. Questions on that? Coming up on the 30 minute mark, so I don't want to hold you guys too long. Questions on anything we talked about? Roth, pre-tax, how much we're doing, website, 800 number, anything like that? Oh, match. 